So the Hanged Man is one of my favourite cards and I'd like to share with you why I love this card so much and why I think it's so much more than hanging around, a pause, um, things not happening as smoothly as you like or surrender. Those are all good meanings for the Hanged Man but there is a lot more. For me the Hanged Man is my Shaman card. Part of that is my Norse roots. Um, so I identify this card with Odin who hung himself upon Yggdrasil for nine days and nine nights to receive the gift of the runes and in my opinion shamanism. And I find this, this curious T here for me that's a very ancient symbol, symbol of our earth and our earth is represented by the world tree and when we hang ourselves, when we sacrifice to ourselves on the world tree, to me that is um, suggesting shamanic practices. Next we have this concept of the fact that he's hanging upside down. Because he's hanging upside down his heart is above his head and to me heart heart chakra when we connect shamanically it is about switching off our logical rational left brain our ego if you like and connected connecting from the right brain or from the heart chakra outside of ourselves now whether you think that's we are connecting to a divine consciousness or um, to our spirit guides or even to our own inner unconscious doesn't really matter it's about connecting with your heart chakra and the crown chakra Next we have the title, The Hanged Man. Doesn't make sense. He's a hung man. We don't hanged a man. So the title's wrong. Doesn't, it's not good English. Um, and the fact that it's not good English, for me, draws my attention to it. and makes me want to know why. So when I did my research on this, I looked at um, some root meanings of the names. And this is just my impression. I'm not suggesting that I am the final word in anything. I'm just sharing my thoughts. For me, the hanged, it means hung, to suspend. And I followed the root meaning of the word man to mean mind. So now we have again this idea of suspending the mind, suspending the body, suspending the mind, so that the crown chakra, if you look at the way, not only his aura, but the way his hair is... is golden and falling down and the heart chakra when we suspend the mind the crown and the heart chakra really come alive we have this curious concept that the legs appear to make a four and yet we have a triangle here this is about um, transformation this is about shaking the balance of your ordinary life connecting with your emotions, with your soul, and fully understanding life in whatever way that means to you. The suspension here, the sacrifice, I think that when we are in a shamanic journey we have to sacrifice our ego, we have to totally trust the process. And I've seen this come up time and time and time again in relationships to represent a, um, a sacrificed relationship. Now I don't mean there that the wife should sacrifice herself to the partner, I mean both partners sacrifice themselves to each other, fully trusting that the other person will put their needs before their own. So this is a sacrifice relationship where each person fully trusts the other. Maybe at its roots that, that's what the hanged man is about. It's about sacrificing the ego, suspending the brain and connecting in that moment with your heart chakra and the brain. And that's not how we live in the modern world. I mean, I'm a shaman and a tarot reader. I spend quite a high proportion of my life connecting with people in this way and yet still you know I'll go into my family life and I am a normal person my head rules of my heart I get angry annoyed I may overspend over drink this is how we live in life we live with our ego driving us we live with our left brain pushing us we live with our fears and our drives and our desires dominating who we are. That's normal. I love my shaman work and I think I read tarot as a very shamanic 
tarot reader, really trying to connect with the, my client through the heart and through the crown chakra. And for me, it's blissful. I love working with tarot. I love working with the shaman side of things because it allows me to let go of that little box that boxes me in as this person and that person. It allows me to feel truly connected, not only with the world tree, but with my clients, with the earth herself. So I love the Hanged Man. I think it's possibly one of the most exciting cards in the deck and I think it's, um, its meanings really help me to understand what it's like to transcend my body, transcend my name and my ego, and just for that moment, connect completely with divine energy.